What would occur if we were to detonate an exceptionally powerful nuclear weapon on the moon? Could the explosion alter its orbit towards Earth, resulting in tidal waves and devastation? Might the moon be obliterated, showering the Earth in a rain of meteoric death? Let's find out here at Space Explained. During the Cold War, the moon served as a significant target for space exploration and military endeavors. Consequently, the U.S. Air Force commissioned a comprehensive study into the effects of a nuclear detonation on the moon. However, instead of merely citing findings, let's embark on a crucial scientific experiment with an imaginary 100 megaton thermonuclear warhead, approximately twice as potent as the most formidable bomb ever detonated. Additionally, we'll position a group of inquisitive astronauts around the moon as observers. Let's initiate the sequence and slow down time. Initially, outside our weapon, there is little activity for the first few milliseconds. Inside, however, high explosives propel a shockwave towards a radioactive metal core, compressing it intensely until it reaches criticality and initiates a nuclear fission chain reaction. The resulting 100 million degree plasma triggers the second stage, where atomic nuclei fuse akin to the core of a star. Briefly, our weapon encompasses one of the hottest spots in the universe. It is only after nearly 10 milliseconds that the universe becomes aware of the event, as the bomb suddenly dissipates, giving birth to a flaming star of nuclear destruction. So far, everything transpires distinctly from terrestrial occurrences due to one major divergence, the absence of an atmosphere. As the fireball radiates, it emits a flash of X-rays and thermal photons, an undetectable surge of heat that disperses in all directions. Unlike Earth, where this heat would incinerate everything within a radius of at least 50 kilometers, the Moon, devoid of an atmosphere and oxygen-rich air, experiences no combustion. Moreover, there are no combustible materials. The lunar surface, comprised of silicate rock and metals pulverized by meteorite impacts over eons, combined with trace amounts of water, undergoes vaporization by the explosion's X-rays, while the dust within the fireball metamorphoses into glass. Astronauts within a 50-kilometer range of the explosion anticipate fatal consequences. Subsequently, we witness one of the most significant disparities between space and terrestrial explosions. On Earth, the atmosphere counteracts the plasma bubble, arresting its expansion within moments. However, in space, particularly on the Moon, the absence of an atmosphere signifies no hindrance to the expanding explosion. The fireball grows silently, lacking atmospheric resistance or audibility. While observing from a safe distance would be intriguing, there exists scarcely any safe viewing distance for a lunar nuclear explosion. Devoid of an atmosphere to mitigate ionizing radiation which can disrupt DNA, individuals in proximity would endure lethal doses of radiation. Simultaneously, the explosion exerts force upon the Moon, transferring approximately a tenth of its energy into seismic waves, inducing an intense moonquake. The comparatively smaller size of the Moon ensures that astronauts experience vigorous tremors irrespective of their location. Such tremors, comparable to a Richter Scale 7 earthquake, could potentially damage or obliterate any lunar infrastructure. Those sheltered on the Moon's far side would misconstrue the quake as an asteroid impact. The detonation also excavates lunar terrain, forming a kilometer-wide crater and propelling debris into space. Without atmospheric resistance, much of the debris escapes the Moon's gravitational pull, dispersing as micrometeorites throughout the solar system. Although some may descend upon Earth, few exceed pebble size. Nonetheless, any spacefaring entities in their trajectory face imminent peril. Concluding the detonation, the fireball dissipates without forming a mushroom cloud, characteristic of Earth's atmosphere. Within seconds, the fiery glow diminishes, resembling a fleeting star in the night sky. 
As sunlight illuminates the debris for several minutes, observers are treated to a surreal spectacle. Concerning the moon's orbit, it remains virtually unaltered. Attempting to manipulate the moon with a nuclear explosion is akin to moving a truck by blowing on it, ineffectual. Nevertheless, individuals on the moon endure adverse consequences. The radioactive material precipitated back onto the lunar surface persists, contaminating it. Fortunately, the radiation diminishes to natural levels within approximately a year. In conclusion, while the moon itself remains indifferent to nuclear bombardment, utilizing it as a test ground undermines its viability for exploration and habitation. Therefore, perhaps it is best to abstain from such endeavors.